Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be walking through NVIDIA Canvas, uh, a new app that released into beta, I believe, yesterday. Um, it's currently in beta, and kind of the whole concept of this, as you can kind of see here, you can put down these like Microsoft Paint esque looking uh, drawings and it'll convert it into a beautiful AI photorealistic uh, image. You can see here on the canvas page, you can harness the power of AI, you pick your palette um, to get different lighting styles. Once you're done, you can export the work into Photoshop so you can continue to refine it and combine it with other artwork. Um, and then finally, you can download it here. In terms of system requirements, it just seems to need uh, any RTX GPU, whether that's a GeForce Quadro or Titan. Um, so anything from the RTX 2060, through to the RTX 3090s plus the Quadros Titans, um, they'll be fine. So if you just hit the download button here and then install it, and once you install it, like any other app, we can open it up here. And you can see the interface here. So the first thing I noticed was that my monitor is set to 1440p, um, and it's a little bit blurry. It's not. It's not. It's not as like sharp and crisp as it should be. Um, up here we've got the settings, I had a look, there was nothing, no settings related to the resolution. Um, it's not awful, but it's just very hazy, like it's a bit muddy. Um, but anyway, let's just um, zoom out here, let's go to 100%. Um, so we can zoom in and out of our image here by pressing Control and Control and Plus, or technically equals, because the plus is above the equals, but you can Control and Minus to zoom out, Control and uh, Equals Plus to zoom in. Uh, control Z undo, uh, Control Z will undo any brush strokes, so we can brush here, press Control Z, Control S will save it, and then we can Control and open right square bracket to increase the brush size, and Control and left square bracket to decrease the brush size. So there's not a huge amount of options, um, so we've got the toolbar down here, which is we've got the, the brush, which brushes, we've got the line, which draws in a straight line, there's the eraser, which will rub uh, strokes out. There's the fill, so we can do that, we can just fill that in. There's the eyedropper tool, which I believe will just pick, um, if we pick a different material over here, draw that one, oh, that's sky, draw the clouds. If we get the eyedropper tool, we'll go back to this one, which is mountain, go back to our brush. So I think I accidentally picked the sky again. So we get our mountain, draw more mountains. Um, okay, so the, the amount of undo steps doesn't seem that high. Um, so we can just erase these. So that's it for the toolbar. Over here, we've got a material palette. So we can draw sky, cloud, grass, mountains, or hills, stone, water, uh, stone walls, fog, etc. And then we have layers just like in Photoshop. And then we also have styles, which will kind of tint the, tint the image. Um, so you've got like a nice sunset kind of style, nice beach style, kind of like New Zealand or Swedish kind of mountain scape. And we'll go with that one. So to start with, let's just, we've got our uh, layer here. Can we rename them? Yep. So we'll just call this our sky background layer. Um, and we'll just fill fill this guy in here. So then we can go up, um, we'll make a new layer, and I'll just call this the foreground layer. Foreground. And um, let's add in some, actually this should be a water layer, because we're gonna have stuff above that. Um, if we get our brush, and then we'll pick the water brush, and then we'll we can just brush up here, down this. I'm just gonna try and make that scene that they had. Oh, that's more like a, a geezer. Maybe I need to use the river. Uh, I'm just gonna try and mimic this sort of style of image. Um, obviously it won't be exact, but we can just brush this in. Again, that doesn't look like a river, that looks like water, river, sea. 
Okay, maybe I just need to do a few more strokes. So let's just um, bring down the brush size here. And then we'll go for some gravel just on the banks here. And make a new layer. And we'll have some stone actually instead of gravel. Let's try that. I mean, this isn't looking how I, how I envisioned. We'll have some stone here. Then we'll go from here to here, down and around. So actually, let's just make sure we create a new layer. Fill that in that side. Okay, so you can see how that's kind of started to take shape. Now it's got a few more kind of reference points. Um, I'm not a big fan of how kind of far off into the, the hills it goes. I think I've drawn that a bit too high. So let's, um, let's just erase kind of just across like this. Maybe down to here. Yeah, and then we can and get rid of all of this. Let's just hide this for for now. Guard brush. Um, I want it to just kind of like meander over this way. Maybe like that. Actually, why don't we have a plan? That isn't my plan. My plan is to get the water using the line tool. And we'll just say everything below this is water. So fill this in. So this way, on our grass layer, we can just erase the kind of channel. There we go. And then um, maybe I'll allude to the fact that there's a bit of water just out on the horizon. So a bit of water over there. And the water can spill out kind of that direction. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. And let's put a few more um, rocks down here. I think the rock should be above the grass. Increase our brush size. I'm gonna have like a rocky kind of edge like this, maybe. Uh, no, I'm not actually happy with that. Let's turn that off. Instead, get rid of the stones. Let's add in some Gravel? What does the gravel come up like? I mean, that gravel's a little bit more um, riverbed y. Okay, and then there's a stone there. What happens if we put a boulder kind of just over here. Like. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. Maybe put one just over here. Maybe have a bit of an outcrop in here. No. Okay, I'm, and I want some mountains kind of over on this side, which will be below the water layer. So, 
first of all, let's try and add some hills. Increase our brush size, kind of drag that down. I've just stopped naming my layers, apparently. We'll drag our hill layer down here, and we'll just have some hills off in the corner. Um, and I'm actually just going to rub out this bit of water, just so it blends in a bit better. So, we can have some hills. And then behind them, we go for some mountains. And then behind those, can we have a few more mountains? Or will that just all blend together as one big mountain range? Okay, so that they, they blur in, so you can't layer the kind of mountains quite like that. I think on top, let's get some trees down. We can have a stone wall. Let's have a look what the stone wall looks like. So maybe this is some some farmer's land going up to the river. And then finally, let's add some clouds. Something quite cloudy on the horizon. Maybe up here. Nice big smiley face. So, I mean, from a distance, that looks like a real... I'd, I'd, I'd mean to say that looks like a real place, but it's not perfect, let's be honest. It doesn't look like... like this with the big dramatic mountains and the lighting. Um, Like it has a lot of artifacts. If we if we zoom back in, I think it has quite a few different kind of artifacts. But it's not it's not awful, considering I drew this and I got this. It's not awful. Let's export it and see kind of what um, call it first canvas. All right, and then let's export it and see kind of what, what it looks like with inside Photoshop. Uh, I'm assuming it's gonna be lots of unnamed layers. Uh, right, first, canvas. Okay, so here we are inside um, Photoshop. And it seems to have brought in, at first of all, I was like, oh great, <laughs> this is all it loaded in, but looking at the palette here, it's just uh, just buried here. And we can kind of see um, all of the different elements of our image, kind of how they how they added up. So we can see our rocks, we've got our riverbed, we've got our grass and our mountains, our clouds up in the sky. Um, it's normal, let's just drop the opacity. So there's the overlay, and that's the original image. Um, what size is this? So that's 100%. So it's only pumping out 512 by 512 images, um, which aren't, I wouldn't say a mega usable. Like, it's not that high resolution. I didn't see anything in the um, export options. I didn't see anything in the export options to kind of hint that you could export it at a higher resolution. Maybe that'll come in the future. Um, I'm quite interested to see how AI upscaling kind of handles this. If I just save this out as an image, on its own, so canvas complete. And we'll use the AI image upscaler from Icon 8. I have one free image left. I'm not sure if that's this month or altogether, but I don't use it that often. So 
Okay, so that's saying that saved out as a 960 by 960 pixel image, but then it was 512 by 512 in um, Photoshop, but let's enlarge it to four four times the size. Okay, so it says originally here 512 by 512. I don't know where it got 960 from, but let's bump this up to, what would that be? Like 2560, I think, four times enlarged. 204.48, of course, because it's double 1024. Oh, do we dare go further? Can we go further? I have a feeling that'll make me pay. Oh, no, let's go to eight times the size. Reached the maximum of 3,000 by 3,000. Okay, let's see what these look like in inside Photoshop. Okay, so here's our 3,000 by 3,000, and it's, it's a little bit muddy. Um, this is the 2048 by 2048. It's a little bit muddy. I mean, it's not perfect in terms of resolution, but it's a lot better than that. If we go to kind of, if we fill our screen with this image, you can see how kind of pixelated it becomes and the artifacts. If we fill our screen with this image, Oh, oh, that's too far, too far. If we just fill kind of the screen with this image, you can see it's got rid of the kind of noise. So it still looks awful, don't get me wrong, but it looks less awful. And then again, if we fill our screen with this image, I mean, there's not much difference between those two at this kind of scale. Um, but if, you, if we compare so this is the image that got pumped out of NVIDIA Canvas. So if we compare that with the 3000 by 3000, you can see that it's still blurry, but it gets rid of the kind of artifacts that we're seeing, kind of like this like horrible noise. It's not as apparent here. It's just a bit more smooth and blended. Um, but obviously it's a beta and NVIDIA have kind of pitched this as that now you can go in and start painting over, um, painting over this and using this as a base for something else. So you've got the perspective right. You can go in and touch it with your own textures. You can put your own figures into it, etc. But yeah, I mean, overall, I'm very impressed considering we've gone from this to this. Using the power of AI, we can upscale it a bit more. Um, if you like this video, subscribe because I've got an AI upscaling video coming out um, tomorrow, I think it is. I've set up a premiere for it on the channel so you'll be able to see that. If you're watching this video in the future and not on the day of being uploaded, I'll put a little card up at the top that kind of that links to that video so you can see more about AI upscaling. But that's it for the beta of the NVIDIA Canvas app. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give it a like, it really helps the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!